the ASUS GeForce RTX 4090 Matrix Platinum was built for one purpose only, to be the fastest video card money can buy. With faster boost clocks, a higher TDP, and a built-in water cooling system, is this card worthy of its eye-watering price tag? Let's find out. Taking a quick look at our test system, it's kind of hard not to feel underpowered when pairing with this monstrosity, but we'll do our best. With an Intel Core i9-13900K paired with 32GB of DDR5-6000 memory, Windows 11 Professional with VBS enabled, and the latest drivers provided by NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel. Starting off with the 1080p results, and while this may not be the resolution this card was intended for, it is something that a lot of people will still be using, whether it be for competitive gaming or as a base resolution for an upscaler like DLSS or FSR. That being said, we can see that the ASUS RTX 4090 Matrix is at the top, unsurprisingly, being faster than the vanilla RTX 4090 and faster, on average, than anything else you can buy. And it does this while spitting out absurdly high frame rates, averaging 253 FPS across 25 games. So if you are rocking a 240Hz monitor and looking for the best video card to pair with it, it's probably this one. Moving up to 1440p doesn't increase the Matrix's lead over the vanilla 4090, though it does increase its lead over pretty much every other card, with AMD's fastest card, the RX 7900 XTX, being 22% slower. Nailing ray tracing doesn't really change the performance differences either, the Matrix holding the same lead over the vanilla 4090, though AMD's cards tend to perform worse with ray tracing, so the RX 7900 XTX is now the fourth fastest card instead of the third fastest. Bumping up to 4K is the first time we actually see the Matrix gain on the vanilla 4090, now being almost 9% faster. It also has similar gains over pretty much every other card, with the AMD RX 7900 XTX now being 26% slower. And all that performance really shows up when you look at the 1% lows, with the ASUS RTX 4090 Matrix Platinum pretty much averaging 120 FPS plus at all times. Compared to last generation's equivalent, the RTX 3090, we are getting almost double the performance from this souped up 4090. But all that performance does come at a cost, and I'm not just talking about the MSRP. The ASUS RTX 4090 Matrix Platinum uses 442 watts while gaming. It's only saving grace being that it is still less than the RTX 3090 Ti. But still, it has the most performance, so having the most power consumption isn't necessarily a bad thing. And that really shows up when looking at energy efficiency as measured by watts per frame. And while the ASUS RTX 4090 Matrix Platinum doesn't top the charts, it is in really good company, being just below the RTX 4080 and still tied with the vanilla RTX 4090. All that power needs it to go somewhere though, and it shows up when we look at fan noise. At 37.5 dBA, the ASUS RTX 4090 Matrix Platinum isn't exactly loud, but it is up there amongst some of the louder cards that we've tested and pretty close to the RX 7900 XTX. One of the benefits of having a water cooler attached to your GPU is that it has a quiet BIOS mode that brings down the noise levels to 30 dBA, which, while not the lowest we've ever seen, is much lower than any card at this elite level of performance. There is a pretty negligible hit to boost clocks when in the quiet BIOS, so the performance should be virtually identical with or without it, though if you are looking to overclock, you'll probably want to leave it off. Speaking of overclocking, we were able to get 6.4% extra performance with our sample. While this isn't a lot, it is pretty similar to what we've gotten with other 4090 cards, so when comparing two different 4090 cards with overclocking, the performance gaps we've seen here should hold up. Anyone who's shopping for this card isn't really concerned about the performance per dollar, but hey, let's look at it anyway. At an eye-watering $3,200, or roughly what most people pay for their first car, the ASUS RTX 4090 Matrix Platinum is a pretty bad deal. The worst deal of any modern card. It ends up costing you $22 per frame, which is basically more than double than any other card you can get. The next closest is the AMD RX 6500 XT, which is $150 and is also a really bad deal. 
followed by the vanilla RTX 4090 at $12 per frame. And taking a look at performance per dollar, you can see that even with 400, 800, or 1200 dollars off, it still doesn't really become a good deal. If ASUS had somehow managed to bring this product out at the MSRP of $1,600, this card would be almost easy to recommend, with it then being the same performance per dollar as an RTX 4080. It gets really bad though when you're looking at the AMD RX 7900 XTX, which at $960 is a whole heck of a lot cheaper and a whopping 146% better value. But that card isn't the fastest card you can buy. Neither is the 4080, and neither is the regular 4090. The ASUS RTX 4090 Matrix Platinum is absurdly expensive. But hey, it's fast. <laughs>